Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys. Always a series for writers, always a series of writers who, like you and me, use uh, Macs and iPhones and iPads. Quite often it's a series about things that we can do, that we can buy, that we can add on, new apps, new tools, new hard, things that help us with the writing, things that help us put off the writing while we're researching. And occasionally things like this, where I want to show you something that there's a pretty good chance uh, well, you definitely already have it, but you may not even realise that you do. This is all about making things, uh, making typing faster. I actually like typing, so I'm not that fussed about the speed. I enjoy, I think, through the keys. But making it faster and making it accurate. So, for example, uh, let's say you're forever having to give out your phone number. Do this and it will always be right and it will always just fly out of the keys. Uh, your email address, maybe something slightly longer like, um, oh, a spelling, a difficult spelling of a name. That's good too. This is a thing called either text replacement or text expansion. Every time, whatever happens is you have a little phrase. You type just a couple of letters. You type those and then bing your Mac, or your iPhone, your iPad, expands it out into whatever else you wanted before. Now, uh, let me show you, it's easier to show you on this than anything else. So for example, I should say actually, this works on all of the Apple devices, but I'm gonna show you first on the Mac because it's the bigger screen, easier to show. Here is a document. It, it happens to be a drafts document, a particular text editor I use a lot, but it could be mail, it could be Safari, absolutely anywhere you can type on your Mac or your iOS device, you can do this. Um, so I just mentioned my phone number. If I type in XPH and space, there's my phone number. Well, it isn't really, but you know what I mean. Or how about this, um, my email address. There you go, that one is real, by the way, you can use that. Or I tell you what, oh, I mentioned difficult spellings. My very first book, have I got a, a copy here? Um, my very first book was about a show called The Beiderbecke Affair. And famously in the show, the show itself refers to the 27 alternative spellings of that name. So I had to get it right, obviously. I did come to learn it, but I also had to type it an awful lot. So instead, because it was The Beiderbecke Affair, I created this. Actually, I think X affair is quite long as a thing to type. I could have called it just XA, XB, something like that. The point of all this is that I have never spelt by the Beck wrong. Not to you, not in emails to anybody, not to the publisher, and not in the book. There's one other mistake in the book. Page 47. I got a fact wrong. It's eight years now and it's still killing me. But um, the spelling of by the Beck is fine. Now, uh, these things are small. You get the accuracy. The speed isn't a gigantic difference, but it's very easy to get one digit wrong in your phone number, particularly if it's your home phone number, because you probably don't remember that very well. So accuracy and a bit of speed, that's all very nice and I like it. You need to know something though. Uh, there are many ways of doing this, uh, including the one we're doing today, which is the one that's free on your Apple devices. But in every case, you start with a little phrase. Like you saw that XPH thing. That's called a trigger. And then that expanded out to my phone number. The thing that it expands out to is called a snippet. So you have a trigger and you have a snippet. Um, let me show you how to do this on a Mac, how you actually enter it. If you go to uh, System Preferences, on your Mac and click, where is it, on keyboard. Click into there, of all the things on the top, click on text. And now here's a list of things. These are a list of the triggers. These are a list of the snippets. So it's things you you replace. You type this and then this replaces it with that. Uh, you see this very first one that's highlighted on my way. Apple actually produces that, so you've got it yourself. Open up anything on your phone or on your Mac, type OMW, hit the space bar, and it will enter on my way, exclamation mark, I hate exclamation marks, but it will enter it for you. All the rest of these, and actually there aren't that many, but you can see, oh, uh, there's the Beiderbeck one. Um, let's see, oh, there's an email address for me. Where's my phone number? There it is. I've just entered it in here. In every case, there's the uh, trigger, there's the snippet. Click this plus line. What can we do? Um, X H. I have no idea what I'm going to do that, but it's short and I'll remember it. X and H. Oh, let's just say. Right. 
So now, having done this, any time I type X and H, the Mac will delete the X and H and replace it with Hello World. So let's just see that in action. Let's get rid of all of these. X, H, there you go, straight away. I do want to say I love this feature, but you've noticed I don't have a long list in there. That's because actually I use this through another service, a paid service, which does a considerable amount more with these. But these basic ones that you can just get for free, I use extensively for the really repetitive tasks. Um, just a couple of things about it, though. Uh, that's how you do it on a Mac. Here's how you do it on an iPhone. Um, you go to Settings, uh, scroll down to General, it should be a keyboard thing. There it is, keyboard. And I hear, here they call it text replacement. Tap in there. It's the same idea. It's laid out slightly differently. But you have on uh, this side, on the left hand side, the trigger. And you have, you look, there's on my way. And next to it, you have the snippet. And notice there's a fair. Actually, let's add another one. If I just had uh, hello world, let's say, well, goodbye world seems a bit miserable, doesn't it? Um, au revoir. <coughs> Can't even spell that. Au revoir, world. I'm not 100% sure that's all that better. Anyway, um, that's the phrase I want uh, to spell correctly every time. And as a shortcut, I will ask you X, G for goodbye, whatever. Save that. And now if I open up uh, any document, now here's pages, we'll do it in here. Uh, give me a new document. Honestly, it's longer to open a document than anything else. Okay, right, so what was that one I just said? Uh, XG, and it's done. There are a few things to point out to you. I think the most important one is that uh, there are these other services that you pay for, which do an immense amount more. We will cover them again. I want you to know about this first. Get used to this one and uh, join me. Join me in the other services. Uh, the other services overcome certain limitations and the most obvious one of which uh, is these things you write have, on the free version that come with your Mac have to be really quite short. So Bidebeck, Hello World, a phone number, an email address. What you cannot do is have paragraphs of work. I, I get a lot of very similar emails and I, re I don't reply the same way every time, but there are key answers like my postal address that are the same. Links to my books, for example, they're all the same. So a couple of characters will spread that out. The Mac one can't do it. Other services can. There's also, you notice there, probably when you look, if you're looking really closely at the screen, when I showed you the Mac and then the iPhone, you'll have seen that the same expansions were on both. That's what's supposed to happen. You set it up on whichever one you've got handi handiest, and then it's automatically on the next should work like that in every sense of the word should it's just sometimes it doesn't it's really unreliable so i've got in the habit of if i know i want to add one of these i set it up on both devices just so it's always there remember that once you've set it up though you don't have to think about this anything you are typing in i just use pages and drafts but word excel safari firefox mail gmail absolutely anywhere on your mac or ios that you type in anything you can use this and it expands things out and you've just thought you could put your passwords in like that begging you please don't do that i put my email address in which is often my login for things but please never the password because once somebody's got your phone they can just go to text and they can see it written there so so we're not going to do that are we no 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 this is text expansion comes free on your Mac. I love this actually, by the way. I think Macs are so built for us as writers. I was talking to some uh, writers who use PCs and Android and none of this stuff is available to them. Well, that's not true. You can get utilities that do it. You can buy things that do it, but there's nothing built into the computer the way it is with what we use. And as well as being, you know, one more thing to have to go buy, when it's built in like this, when it's part of the operating system, you get that benefit that it works everywhere at all times over everything with the android and the pc ones it might work in word it might work in something else it's just fiddly once it starts getting fiddly what's the point of any of it i just want to use these devices to write and text expansion or text replacement helps me much as i love typing i love how this saves me time and keeps me accurate 
and that would be it really for this edition of 58 keys except i do also want to point out one other thing um if you are looking to speed up your writing it's probably not that you want to type faster it's that you want to spend more time on the writing that you want to get more done go to 58keys.com find the writer's mailing list and click on that or click on the link below this uh, i have some uh, online courses and programs coming up that will help you juggle things to get more writing done lots more about text expansion in the future we will come back to it um but there's so much else to talk about first so thank you for watching uh, remember to do that youtube like subscribe thing that'd be really handy and i'll see you soon